pay, and I'm going to make sure this is clear, this is capital per worker. Capital divided by labor. Capital per unit labor. It doesn't even have to be per worker. It's just per unit labor. You could have labor supply in the model. Capital divided by labor. It's capital per unit labor. You can think of the marginal product schedule, FK. That's the marginal product schedule of capital. And this says, if I draw a horizontal line at rho plus delta, this is K bar. That's my steady state capital stock. All right. Now, remember, output is just F of K. But the integral from 0 to K of FK of SDS, that is, the integral of under this marginal product schedule is equal to what? How many people remember math? What's the integral from 0 to k of the derivative of a function? That's f of k minus f of 0, right? Everybody agrees with that, right? The integral from 0 to k of the derivative of the function is the function itself at k minus the function at 0. This is how much output a unit of labor produces when it has no capital. This is the output of a unit of labor that has no capital to work with. This is the output of a unit of labor that has k units of capital to work with. Since there's constant returns to scale, remember this is the amount that's being paid to capital, right? Because this is the price of capital, rental price of capital, times the amount of capital, that's the amount that's being paid to capital. So this area here is equal to the wage minus F of zero, right? That's what that area is. That is workers are getting F of zero plus this surplus on the production generated by capital. That would be the real wage paid to labor. So the real wage is going to be this area plus f of zero. Since I'm thinking of this as a constant, I'm just going to ignore this in most of my discussion. If you want to put it back in, you can put it back in in a bit. All right? So everybody sees what I just did. Since we have constant returns to scale, payments to labor and capital exhaust the total. And therefore, the area under this curve is total output minus F0. So this area here has to be the payment to workers minus F0, and everything's done per capita, so that's the real wage rate. Okay, that's the payment to labor in terms of um, units of output. Any questions that people have? All right. All right.